good to have you here guys now we are looking at in this very video how to convert 64 bit to 32 bit okay now this video is necessitated by one of uh, viewers who asked the question uh, um, asking asking how to convert from 64 bit to 32 bit, uh, bit because in a video we had earlier we made a video on how to convert from 32 bit to 64 bits so your question was is it possible to convert from 64 back to 32 bit now we're going to be using a very simple method talking about uh, our, our app which is the j bridger on how to convert this we just go straight we have the j bridger and it comes up and then we click right away we have this so we're going to be using i'll be using a x86 that that stands for your 32 bit host now that's what we're going to be using and not 64 because we're converting from 64 down to 32 it's assumed that what you want to do is uh to be 64 bit to be downgraded down to 32 bit so you can use in your 32 bit host so we come down here and uh, click right away so create bridging files inside the directory i will specify this is highly recommended you don't have to use this other one here this is what we recommend create bridging files inside the directory i will specify highly recommended so click on it and then you have to go into your program files look for your 64 bit which is this one x86 this stands for your 32 bit so you come to your program files here this very one open look for one of the plugins which uh, is in 64 bit so you can downgrade it down to or convert it back to 32 bit now in my own case i have a very unique folder here where i have a number of my plugins like i have uh, the stemberg let's see inside stemberg the vsts i have some vsts plugins okay 32 bit do i have anyone okay i have this one this as player is in 64 so i need this to come down to 32 bits so what i'll just do is touch it here click now it's going to ask me to make a folder of course uh, uh i have a new folder here already so i can just choose this very folder here say let's go into it so i click so it goes straight into that new folder it says one file bridged for using in your 32-bit vst host all right so we're going to check to see how our 64-bit uh has been converted to our 32 bits so that's we have to go to that new folder we created earlier you all saw it when we created that 32 uh, that new folder so it's definitely going to be in hp that's the folder hp then we have new folder where is it quickly let's see new folder so right inside we have the as player 32 see this is why i just this is a file i just converted from 64 to 32 bit so this now can go into your 32 door whatever you want to do okay straightforward now on this video below this vi very video you're watching i'm going to have a link of the jbridger so you can just click on it download it and it is free to use you just convert your files from 64 bit down to 32 bit or the 32 bit to your 64 depending on what exactly you want to do okay and then if you have more questions you can please just ask below and then i'll come back here so be so delighted to answer all your questions thank you for being part of this please one thing i require request from you is to like this video if you really have um, learned one or two things from it and also subscribe to this channel so we can make more videos thank you so much for being part of this god bless you